If you look at the historicity of shame in the Bible, um, the concept is first introduced in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve are both naked and they're unashamed. But we know how the story goes. Um, they both eat the fruit and as they, as they eat the fruit, shame is introduced into the Bible. And so they're ashamed because of their own sins. They're ashamed because of what they've done. They're ashamed because um, they've disappointed God and so now they're hiding because they realize their nakedness and they try and cover themselves with fig leaves because of what they've done, because of their own sins. And so you fast forward 4,000 years later and um, Paul is writing his thesis on the, on the gospel. Um, he's writing the book of Romans and as he's writing his thesis on the gospel, he inserts a particular thought, which in my mind at least, is quite amazing. And he says something quite interesting. Um, he's writing in a context where the community around him, um, there's sin all about. Um, people are sinning and they're unashamed. They're sinning and they're comfortable with their sins. And he's writing in a context where Christianity itself um, wasn't a popular thing. And so he introduces this thought in verse 16 of Romans chapter 1. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. The gospel isn't something that Paul's done, it's something that God's done. The gospel isn't something that, I don't know, um, Paul's sinned about, so he's got no reason to be shamed um, about it, but he realizes in this world that he's in, in a place where people are comfortable with sin, that people can be ashamed of the gospel, to the point well, they'll hide from God himself because of the shame that the gospel brings. And so the question comes to us 2,000 years from Paul. Are you ashamed? Am I ashamed of the gospel? Am I hiding from God under the, underneath the fig leaves um, of my own pride? Or like Paul, have I come to the place where the grace of God has been so experiential to me where I now am truly unashamed? of what God has done for me.